Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I ask myself, Ducks, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on, we gotta head back before Prep closes for the night. Trust me, I'm not annoying. Shut the hell up. Wanna see annoying? I can show you annoying. What's wrong with you? We're in the zone. Keep your eyes open and... Mouth shut. Yeah, you only told me that 9,000 times already, Borman. Look at this. Beautiful. Just beautiful. This scrap's gonna make us heroes back at the Ark. The air stinks like mutants. Not just any mutants. Stalkers. Tight muscles. Good meat. I smell it too. Where there's stalkers, there's Ark. Where there's Ark, there's... Killing time for Skizzix and Treble. They're close, 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 close. Over there! Come, brother! I'm on their trail! So good! Never seen ghouls this far south before. They're getting closer to the Ark every day. Something's up, Borman. Guys, come here. Split up. Come on. That's a... That's a... We saw one of these things once. Filled with zone dogs, right? Oof. The ancients sure knew how to build big pieces of garbage.
got ourselves some ghouls. One of them looks like he ate a ghoul. We better get into ninja mode. Listen, turn off your flashlight. If we sneak by the water, they won't see us. I will rip off their tiny stalker arms and beat their faces till they die! Faces too ugly to beat. No one loves a stalker. Give me the stalkers. Let them come. Where are you? Orcs don't even love stalkers. <laughs> The arcs up ahead. Home, sweet home. Oh, I'm gonna kiss that elevator when I see it. Get upstairs, take a bath, get a grog with the boys. Get another grog with the boys. Foot massage. Oh, it's gonna be great. A campsite. Looks like a family lived here. Lived here and died here. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind at ease. There's a cabin up ahead. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in? Guns blazing? Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. Death dealing, soul stealing, stalking machine, baby. Oh, 
Red Sweet as good as dead! We've one lost one! Done. Overwatch. Look at this beauty. The ancients left a lot of ugly junk behind, but once in a while you see something like this. Wonder what these buttons are for. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. I'm not kidding around. Lay off the buttons. What's up your butt? That's a bomb, all right. They used to call it a boom box. Touch that red button, and it goes boom. Don't be pretending you know what any of this crap is. We'll bring it back to the Ark and show it to Prip. Ask him what it's worth on the black market.
Of course the world ends. You did it to us. When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. The Ark is humanity's last outpost, a lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one, with the guidance of our leader, the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave, because outside these walls lies the zone, the never-ending wasteland. A mass grave spanning the planet, littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. If the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least, that's what the Elder says. Sweet home. The elevator's up ahead. hiding over there. Think they want to hitch a ride on our elevator. Forget that. Let's sneak around and see if there's any others.
serves you right. I hated that asshole. Bye-bye. Box opens. We go in the box. Box goes in the ark. We take their food, we take their guns. Girls! Get that annoying freak! Just get that! As good as dead! Sleep it off. Oh man, that was my shot.
These ghouls are getting way too close to the Ark. Better get in the elevator quickly and go upstairs. The Elder meets us at the elevator. He says he doesn't have a second to lose. The mission's too important. Our mission, he says, is a man. And that man is Hammond. Everyone in the Ark knows Hammond, respects him. He's our lead, gearhead, going farther into the zone than anybody else, bringing back the machines that help us survive. He knows how to keep those machines running how to fix them when they fall apart. Hammond keeps the Ark's heart beating. The Elder says three nights ago, Hammond took his team of stalkers and headed north, not telling anyone why. They haven't come back. I've never seen the Elder this shaken before. It scares me. He tells us Hammond has a remote cabin in the north that could yield some clues to his location. Me and Ducks never patrolled that far before, but the Elder says he has faith in us. He believes in us. So, this mission we accept. Go to Hammond's cabin, search for clues, then find Hammond and bring him back alive. The fate of the Ark depends on it. Wanna know how this goes down? For the right price, I fix and upgrade your shitty gear. Any questions? Take it easy. Hey, what can I help you with?
Later, stalkers. After a killer day in the zone, you know you can always come to Prips for some high quality grog. You want to get loaded? Order a shot. No butane, no bleach, only natural ingredients. I also dabble in a little uh, antiquity trading. So if you find any cool artifacts out in the wasteland, bring them to me and I might give you something in return. Comprende? Till next time! You know the drill. Stalkers want gear that keeps them alive. I, Iridia, provide the gear. See anything you like, just let me know. There is one rule. Don't ever, ever pull my chain. If you pull my chain, I'll feed your ding-dongs to a zone wolf. Got that? Beautiful. Happy shopping. Later, Gator. My home will always be a haven to you, brave stalkers. After your journeys, pay me a visit, and I'll offer you some guidance, perhaps a story, to help you become wise and strong. Thank you for letting this old man ramble. Go in peace, stalkers. Thanks for signing me up back there, you crazy pig. Yes, Mr. Elder, sign us up for a suicide mission, Mr. Elder. Did you forget there's like a kajillion ghouls out here who want to kill us? Nobody gets to kill you but me now. Shut the duck up and keep moving. I'm telling you, Borman, ain't no happy ending in this story. Stalkers don't get happy endings. We get each other. So watch my back.
Hi there. Serves you right. Good stuff. Oh, these abandoned campsites always get my feathers twitching. Hundreds of them out here, all full of ghosts, shivering in the cold. We should check Hammond's cabin like the Elder asked us to. Whoa, whoa, check this thing out. It must have crashed. Look at this symbol on the side, it's like a star.
Good news is we reached Heaven's cabin. Bad news is there's two friggin' ghouls casing the joint. Secrets from his head. Hammer will tell us what the junk is for. The junk is for us. All of it. There you go. That'll make you better. Thank you. What about the down? Cleanly done. As good as it did! Dance with me!
no time to die. We have to keep fighting. Not too shabby. Bodies may fall, but... Good news is we reached Haven's cabin. Bad news is there's two friggin' ghouls casing the joint.
Overwatch. Zone ghouls stripped this cabin clean. Almost everything useful was gone. But it's a good thing ghouls can't read. They ignored the diary hidden inside Hammond's desk. Me and Ducks aren't big readers either. But we look for answers in the diary. And all we get is more questions. Hammond writes how he found the crash machine near his cabin. He's convinced the machine was sent as a message from a mythical place beyond the zone called Eden, where everybody's happy and safe. When Hammond sees another machine fall north of here, he takes his stalker crew up there to find it. I close the diary. Here's the problem. Eden's a fairy tale. Some bedtime story mutants believe in, so they can get to sleep at night. So either Hammond is onto something, or his brain's got the rot, and he's about to kill a bunch of good stalkers. Guess we gotta find out. Me and Ducks have to go north. Farther from home than we've ever been. It's dangerous. Ducks thinks I'm crazy to press on. I don't disagree with him.